Finally got my new GPU, can't wait to play some Hogwarts Legacy on this. Oh wait, what's this? What's happened? So I'm going to be testing the RX 6600 XT and see how it performs with ray tracing. In my previous videos I've never turned on ray tracing, it's always been off. And I'm going to be testing a couple of games to see if AMD's claims for 40% increase is actually true. Now they did release some data around Spider-Man getting 10% increase and some other games getting 5%. In this test I am using Windows 10 64 bit version and also the full specs of the PC is available down in the description below. Make sure you stay to the end of this video, I've got a bit of a surprise for you and it's something that I didn't expect so you definitely don't want to miss out. Alongside with two different versions of AMD's driver, the drivers that I'm using today is one from November 2022 and also the latest driver that they released. So the first game I'm going to be testing is Cyberpunk 2077 and on the left I've got the old driver from November 2022 and also the new driver that had just been released on the 22nd of Feb. So I've got the graphics settings set on high and ray tracing on medium and to be honest the performance difference between the two I'd have to say is exactly the same. The frame time is pretty steady and, and fairly reasonable. The FPS is exactly the same at around about 32-33 FPS so again you may want to turn down the graphics settings down to medium to get close to 60 FPS where it's a playable format. In terms of the GPU utilization, you're getting around about 97 or 98 percent, and the CPU is only being used around about 38, 40 percent. So certainly, in this benchmark, it is not getting bottlenecked by the CPU, and the GPU is being fully utilized. So with that, yeah, there isn't really any difference between the two for Cyberpunk, and they're performing exactly the same. Now I just wanted to do a very quick call to action, I've only got 475 subscribers subscribed to my channel so if you like this content please don't forget to like and subscribe and it will really encourage me to bring you more content like this. Now moving on to the graphics at high settings ray, ray tracing on ultra and weirdly enough the performance between the old and the new drivers is actually better on the new driver. You're getting around about 10-15% increase in terms of FPS and again you've got in full, full utilization of the GPU here uh, with only running at 40-45 degrees between the two. So overall I'm really impressed with having everything whacked up to max on Cyberpunk 2077. So it's definitely worth updating to the latest driver but the thing that's strange to me is when both was on medium ray tracing settings they performed exactly the same which I thought would have a better improvement on the latest driver but when I updated it to the latest to the ultra settings on ray tracing you were getting a much more performance so I don't really get that but I'll take it you're getting better performance when ray tracing is set on ultra and graphics is also set to high in this game test. So the next game I am testing is Control and this game has graphics settings set to high with ray tracing on high as well. And overall the game is running okay, it's running at around about 40-45 FPS and again you really want to hit that 60 FPS mark when playing Control. So you may need to change the graphics settings down to medium and you will definitely get above 60 FPS in Control. Overall the game ran okay, it didn't have any stutters or frame drops or anything like that, it was very smooth and I was pretty satisfied with its performance. But in terms of the difference between the old and the new driver, there was really no difference whatsoever, they were exactly the same. And I know I've got different sequences playing here for Control, but if you have comparable scenes between the two games or the two scenes, they are exactly the same. So no improvement between the old and the new driver. Now finally moving on to Hogwarts Legacy and wow, all I can say is wow, you know the difference between the old driver and the new driver is night and day. I was getting 3 or 2 FPS on the new driver, I even did a driver wipe, I reinstalled the latest driver and I was still getting the same performance of 1 FPS. Using exactly the same settings, I haven't changed them, they were both set on ultra 
and I was just shocked at its performance. It was just ridiculous. So I thought it was worthwhile maybe just showing you the full screen between the old and the new driver. This is the old driver currently running and you can see I'm getting well into the 130, 140 FPS. It's running really well. Frame time is extremely smooth. There are no issues whatsoever. And in my opinion, I think ray tracing looks incredible using the old driver from November. And if you want to know what the driver versions are, I had it in the little description down on, up in the top right there. And you can see the driver versions that I used for testing Hogwarts Legacy. So yeah, really po good performance on the old driver. And to be honest, I wouldn't complain too much if I'm getting around about 130, 140 FPS, extremely smooth, and I'm satisfied with its performance. But moving on to the new driver, and again, I've got the information of the driver that I used on the top right there it drops down to 40 and saying you know it's dropped down to 40 or 38 fps this is the graphics settings turned down that's turned down to a medium settings and it's not as high as the old driver you could argue that uh, maybe ray tracing looks a little better with the newer driver um, but i'll leave that up to your opinion as to what you think do you think ray tracing looks better on the new driver with Hogwarts Legacy or the old one? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'd really like to know your opinion and looking at the difference between the graphical fidelity between the old and new. But the frame time was all over the place. FPS was low, even running at medium settings. And to be honest with you, AMD, this is just a shambles. I think it's a complete joke that the game that was running on an old driver was running much better and in fact the driver came out even before Hogwarts Legacy was even released and you released a new driver after Hogwarts Legacy had been come out and it should have been optimized for this game but it hasn't so I don't know what's going on here I don't know if you guys know what might be happening here did I maybe put something I didn't set up the driver correctly I don't know but again let me know in the comments below so if you like this kind of content please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.